All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. So, we covered the button repeater and the battery sensor, and now let's go ahead and cover the power sensor and the storage sensor. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like the battery sensor, the power sensor also has three modes. It will activate a signal when the power is gained or lost, when the power is gained, or when the power is lost. Let's go ahead and look at power gained or lost. Now in this little scenario, I have set up a solar panel and I also have a backup power, which is generator. And then I also have an atmosphere condenser, which is the base piece I'm gonna run. Remember this piece is arbitrary. It could be any base piece. What I would really like the power sensor to do is when the power is gained or lost, meaning in this case that the sun goes up and down, that's all going to be determined on what you have on here. If it is solar power, it'd be when the wind blows or doesn't blow. If it was a battery, when the battery drains or doesn't drain. So this power is almost arbitrary as well. But what's going to happen is what I want to do is when this particular power source loses power or even gains power, I want to be able to send a signal to the medium generator to turn on or off. So in this case, our generator's off. We have power from the sun. Let's go ahead and turn on the atmosphere condenser. And now the atmosphere condenser is running. But if the sun went down and I lost power, a signal would be sent to the generator and the generator would turn on and now the atmosphere condenser is running solely off the generator. So this is a case and concept of backup power, right? If you want to get a backup power scenario going, this is how you would do backup power. Again, if the sun came up and, and solar power was available, a signal would be sent, the generator would be shut off, and you would have the power being then provided by the solar panel. So pretty simple, right? That is the basics of the power sensor, especially in this mode. Gained or lost, it's a great backup power scenario. Or, you know, shutting off part of your base, turning on another part of your base, depending on how your power situation is. Let's look at the other two modes for the power sensor. Okay, in this scenario, the power sensor is set to power lost. And I wanna do something when we lose power. Well, this little scenario is set up so that I have a solar panel, I've got my power sensor, and I've got a little light over here. And what I really wanna do is if I lose power, I want to turn off this light. I want to be able to do something to this light. So if the power is lost, a signal will be sent that actually turns the light on, which is really cool. So maybe you could set up a scenario where you've got, hey, you know, I've, I've got some sort of cave base and you've got solar panels outside of the cave base. And when you get power, it turns on all the cave lights. And when you don't have power, it shuts off the cave lights. I don't know. But this is just an example of how you could possibly use the power sensor with the mode of power lost. Let's flip it over to power gained. So the sun is coming up and I want to shut these lights off. I no longer need these lights anymore. So let's go ahead and put our power back on and you can see it sends a signal over to the work light to tell the work light to shut off. So that is the other two modes for the power sensor. You could also do something kind of goofy with it. So over here, I have my little storage of fireworks, right? And maybe we want to have a fireworks display when the sun goes down. So let's switch it over to power loss and I'm going to change this target. Let's go ahead and get rid of both of these guys and just put it from over on this side. And I want to create my segment and I want to place my segment right here. And so as soon as the power goes out, we wind up setting off this crazy fireworks display that everybody can see. Pretty neat, right? Let's take a look at the storage sensor. Now the storage sensor is very similar to the power sensor and that's why I grouped them together. The storage sensor has a mode of full or empty. Very similar to the power sensor of power gained or lost. In the sense of the storage sensor though, the storage sensor just wants to know, hey look, is my item 
completely full or completely empty. So we have a scenario set up. Let's go ahead and turn this light off and set our target pins down and attach it to the light once again. This is just a good indicator to see that something is happening. Again, this target pin can go to a base building piece, uh, some other sort of power, whatever. It doesn't matter what you connect this to. So what you'll see is that a signal will get sent when the storage is completely full. Now we have the sensor sitting on a platform. And so any storage that goes on that platform will also set off a signal. So when the storage is full, the light goes on. When the storage is empty, the light goes off. Again, full or empty. The other two modes are pretty similar. Where you have full or not full. So in the case of full or not full, you'll get a signal when the storage is full and not full means, of course, less than full. So as soon as I take one item off, a signal will get sent again, telling the light to turn off because the storage is not completely full. The next mode is empty or not empty. And this is easy to reproduce because it currently is not empty but then it is empty. So the storage sensor, I think, honestly, is probably the easiest sensor to figure out. It's really not that difficult. Let's look at a practical example. Okay, in this scenario, I have set up an auto smelting system where it's going to take out of this medium canister, it's going to smelt it, and then it's going to put it into the large canister. But I only want this arm functioning while this particular storage is empty. And then I only want this arm functioning while this particular storage has some sort of items in it. So how do we set that up? Well, you can take a storage sensor, attach it to make sure, and you have to make sure you're attaching it specifically just to this storage, the medium storage, put down some pins and set this mode to full or empty. So when it gets full, it's going to send a signal to shut off. When it's empty, it's going to send a signal to turn on. We're also going to need another sensor on this storage and attach it to the arm and tell this sensor that if this sensor is full or not full. So if an item goes into my storage, I want to turn the arm on, take it off, put it into my large resource canister and then shut it off again. So let's see how this all works. Let's go ahead and turn these arms on. This arm's gonna start grabbing items, depositing it onto the platform. Let's go ahead and turn the smelter on. Because the smelter has four additional storage pieces, this is really not gonna be considered part of the storage, so we're gonna wait for this item to fill up. Let's turn this arm on. As item starts coming off, we're gonna go ahead and send it. This is about to trigger to shut this arm off. And it does. Now the arm is off waiting. Let me fix this arm here. This arm is going to deliver. Uh, I've changed the sensor on this and I, I, I put it in the wrong mode. But now it'll grab, it'll wait until there's another item here. And then it'll turn around and then store it. And so here's kind of a situation that you could set up with the arms. This particular sensor is only going to trigger when this storage is empty. Now I could have set it up so that it does each one individually, but you know, however you configure these items, it's up to you. But this is just an example of something that you could do. All right, so that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did hit that like button, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We've got a great community of people here. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you know when I go live and when I post new videos. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.